Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see, you stay and subscribe and decide to become a part of the Money Minded Tribe. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. So the theme of today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. Are you guys surprised? You know you shouldn't be because you know how much this lady loves the Dollar Tree and I love bringing you guys the best of what I think the Dollar Trees in the Chicagoland area is offering. So I'm excited to bring you this and uh, why don't we go ahead and jump right in. So I actually had to, um, I was kind of on a lockdown a couple weeks ago. Um, the temperatures dipped very dangerously low. We're talking negative temperatures and that's before we're even factoring in wind chills. So I didn't leave the house for a few days. And normally I like to hit at least my local Dollar Trees or the ones in the neighboring towns. So I felt like I was really locked down. So once the temperatures rose to a more humane level, <laughs> about three, four days later, um, I did hit a couple of my uh, local stores and I was shocked at what they had. Um, what I'm about to show you, I actually split up into two hauls, so I'm going to be filming back to back. Um, but they had such great items. I guess um, the brave employees who had to brave that cold and come into work, you know, thank God there was heat and all that. But, um, you know, I bet it was kind of slow and they had a lot of time to stock the shelves because I feel like they had a lot going on. It was really, really nice. So let's let's go ahead and jump in. Why don't I just show you, Michelle? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so first, I re-upped on two of these 12 ounce family size boxes of the red, white, and blue Rice Krispies. Um, Hugo loves these. He was, he was, he said, yes, please pick me up at least a couple more of these. Um, have you ever eaten something that you haven't had in a long time? And when you do, you're like, why am I not eating more of this? That's what Rice Krispies are for Hugo. This has a best by date of March uh, 19th, I think it was 2024. So we still have a couple months, but he's going to go ahead and chow down once I give him his boxes of Rice Krispies. But that is a really awesome deal. And then, hmm, what next? What next? Let's do books. So like books in the Chicagoland area, or at least the stores that I frequent, as well as my little extended area when I feel like going out uh, wandering. Um, I haven't had a ton of books lately, but I do have a couple to show you. One of which is, um, now these are readily available by Bendon Books. This is a jumbo word search. My mom was ready for a new one. She said, hey, can you grab me one? Just anything. She goes, she likes the bigger ones. It's a little bit easier to see. And uh, she really enjoys doing these. She puts on something you don't have to pay a lot of attention to. Something like a diner's drive-ins and dives, for example. You know, she'll have that in the background, do her little word searches. And um, it's just fun and keeps you busy. So... I went ahead and grabbed her one of those. And then also in the book department, I found this beautiful cookbook by Lorena Garcia. She is a Food Network cook. I do recognize her from the Food Network. And um, it's Nuevos Clásicos Latinos, Ideas Frescas para Platos Favoritos. And I hope I did okay on the pronunciation. This book is completely in Spanish. Um, I took a picture of it and I asked Hugo, do you think your mom might like this possibly? And he said, you know what? Go ahead and grab it. I think it's kind of cool. We'll leaf through it. If it's not for us, you know, I said, don't worry about it. I will not be insulted. You can go ahead and donate it. Um, I said, or you can translate the whole thing for me and maybe we'll find something good to eat in here. But anyway, I just thought it was a beautiful book. The photos are, look at that. Wow. And it's all different Latino cuisine or based on Latino cuisine. But I thought that was... A cool find. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then let's see. Um, so for Valentine's, I just have a couple items. One is I found one more lonely pair of these uh fuzzy friends food buddies. I did the I found one more of the donut and coffee to give to Hugo because he saw my last video, you guys, and he's like, Oh, those are so cute. I like the donut and coffee and the burger and fries. I'm like, oh great, now I have to go find more because he's not getting mine. So I was lucky that I found, like I said, this was just one lone uh, pair here um, at this one store that I went to. So I'm on the lookout, at least for the burger and fries, if I can find, but regardless, he's getting this. I love these guys. They're so cute. Donut and coffee for Hugo. And then I picked up this three pack of, um, of gift bags from the Valentine section, because I'm going to be giving um, away three of the glass bears full of candy. And um, this first one says, we go together like milk and cookies. Isn't that cute? I love this so much. And like, I love even the side print look. It's like little milk cartons and is that hearts? No, cookies. It's cookies and milk. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> How adorable is that, right? Cute. And then the second one says, you know, I love you, only you, always, etc. You know, that kind of thing. XOXO. And on the side, it matches. And then the last one is just red and pink hearts. Super, super cute. And the side panel is also 
printed as well. So these are really cute. Three for $1.25. I think that's a really awesome deal. So I went ahead and snatched those up. Uh, where am I putting everything? Oh, okay, here. Good. Good enough. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I picked up, um, I don't remember if I found this in the hardware section or if it was the craft section, but um, I wanted a spray adhesive glue. And I did at one time pick up the Elmer's spray adhesive. It was like a little pump spray and it sprays purple. And I thought, oh, perfect for decoupage. That's that's what I wanted it for, to adhere my decoupage down and then cover over with the Mod Podge. But for some reason, no matter what I did, I can't get that pump spray working. I still have it in my craft stash. And, um, but then I found this, it's called Beacon Value. It's a spray adhesive and it's meant for paper, etc. cetera. Um, like I said, I don't remember if this was actually in the hardware section or the craft section, but if this is a good pump spray, maybe when this is empty, then I can refill it with the uh, Elmer's glue that never worked. So I don't know, I'm hopeful that this works, but I have not tested the pump spray yet. So I picked that up because I wanna do a little bit of decoupaging. It's so much fun. It's really like a satisfying kind of process. It's cool and it's not as, you know, I feel like, you you know, I used to think, oh, you have to be so careful so it doesn't get any wrinkles. It's okay if it gets wrinkles. You find ways to kind of smooth it out and make it part of, make it part of the dance, right? I don't know. It's just fun. I like it. Um, let's see. I did pick up one clothing item. I found the Crazy Boxers <laughs> in Jacob's size. He doesn't watch my videos, I don't think. So I hope he was not embarrassed. So I'm sorry, son, if you see this, but I'm showing you that I got you the Bud Light Boxers from Crazy Boxer. They had um, they had a good amount of sizes um, at the store that I was at. I bought them three pair because at $1.25 a piece, um, not long ago, I bought them boxers in a similar fabric, which this fabric is really, really nice. Um, and they were like, what were they? That would have broken down to like three or $4 a pair because I think I paid like, like for four pairs, it was either $12.99 or $14.99. I don't remember, at TJ Maxx or whatever. And he does, he likes this kind of fabric. And I will say they're really, really soft. I, I said to him, I said, is this weird or inappropriate to give you like boxers that advertise beer? He said, mom, nobody's looking at my underwear. He said, especially at school. And he said, and if they were, we'd have a big problem. <laughs> so I'm like, point well taken. He actually likes these. He's looking forward to wearing those. So those should be nice and comfy. And then the rest of the items I have are for the home. So I was excited. I know everybody has been hauling these, but I was very excited to find the clear acrylic fridge bins. I put a Dollar Tree bag in between just to make, make it easy for me to separate because I find them, they kind of are hard to separate occasionally when you stack them together, but they are huge. They are beautiful. They are decently made. They're a little on the thin side. You know, they're not the TJ Maxx quality or Ross, but they will absolutely do uh, for your fridge. But I was hoping to use this in my, in what I hope to be my craft area, like over in the corner off camera, there is like some shelves on my wall. And I was hopeful to use these double stacked with, I also picked up this, uh, like it's what you use to like double stack your plates in the cabinet. Uh, by, you know, by Essentials. It should be available at mo readily available at most Dollar Trees. I was going to double stack the bins, you know, and create sort of drawers. Can I do this? I'm, oh, look at me. I'm figuring it out. QVC. <laughs> this is my audition. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I was hoping to be able to do that kind of action on these shelves, but I realized that these are a little bit too deep. However, I'm, I'm going to make excellent use of double stacking these bins in my linen closet and hopefully get that together because frankly, it looks crazy on the inside. So <laughs> that's what I'm hoping to use these for. Um, so I bought these items in conjunction with one another. So in total, I have four of the fridge bins and two of these um, plate risers, which I also use these plate risers in my cabinet. It's a great way to double stack and get a little more extra storage space in your cabinet. So it's just an awesome product to have in general. And then I also picked up, and this actually will work on those shelves, I got a total of four of these by Surefresh, these huge, huge storage containers. Look at these, you guys. I mean, these are awesome. They hold 25 cups or 200 fluid ounces. Holy moly, this thing is huge. This is like if you're making a huge thing of potato salad to bring to the picnic, this is for like, you could put your flour in here, you could put sugar in here. It's got a really nice lid, like really airtight, you know, snaps down beautifully. They actually stack on top of each other. Do I have, no, I don't have more than one over here with me. I just grabbed the one just to show you guys, but they do actually stack on top of each other because it's recessed on the top and they do stack nicely. These will go great in a pantry if you have a large pantry. If you're blessed with a large pantry, I would love that. But you guys, it'll never happen. My house is small and my kitchen is small, but that's okay. 
we make do with what we have. <laughs> and I'm planning to use this for craft storage. This actually will fit on my shelves that I am considering making my little craft area. So um, I think these are awesome and an incredible value at what? Five quarters. Five quarters, you guys, that's insane. That's insane. I mean, I don't wanna give Dollar Tree any ideas, but because I'm nobody and I know they're not watching me, I would say they could easily get $3 for these. Definitely five, no, but I would pay $3 for this. But instead, we're paying five quarters and that's the way I like to keep it, yes. <laughs> so those were awesome deals. Uh, hopefully I'll get myself organized and I won't even recognize myself after a time. Um, I also picked up, I thought this was a good deal, and I saw my friend Sweet Sadie J show these on her channel. Hey, Sadie. I picked up the Clorox um, clothespins because I thought these looked really nice. I mean, I could use these as chip clips. You know what I use as chip clips currently are binder clips, but actually I think these might be actually kind of nice for that. Or you know what else I thought they would be good for is um, if you're gluing something, you could maybe clamp them together possibly you know if it's their small items like if you're gluing those little wood crates from the crafter square together possibly these would uh i think do very well to hold them together let's uh let's pull one out because i just want to see what they are like she said oh yeah these are nice they do have a decent oh ouch <laughs> jeez michelle <laughs> they do have a good amount of squeeze to them so it will pinch you um but they're cool i think uh these would work really really well in a lot of different applications so uh, and you get a total of how many? Let's see here. Three, six. Do you get 10, 12? You get 12. Okay. Reading is how we understand. <laughs> but anyway, yes, these Clorox clips are super duper cool. I like them a lot. And then finally, you guys, I walked around to, so the last aisle in my stores are usually that kitchen aisle, right? You know, I start, you know, I start in the beginning. I, there's an order to these things. And I don't know about you guys, but I literally go up and down every aisle. I'm sure all of us do this, right? Because we're smart Dollar Tree shoppers. You have to go up and down every aisle. You have to examine all the shelves, top to bottom, uh, all the clip strips, all the things, all the end caps, you know, we're on the search, right? All, every register, right? Okay. So I start at one end and I work my way to the end. And the other end for me is always the kitchen aisle. And that's where I found so many of these awesome things. But I was super excited to find a complete matching set. I got service for 12 of this new flatware by Gibson Home. And the pattern all matched and everything. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I picked up a six pack or sorry, two six packs of the teaspoons for a total of 12. And I like the pattern. I think it's really nice. Very neutral, very easy. These are great to re-up on your own flatware. These are great for somebody first starting out. Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I know she would probably be on the hunt for these for some of her clients who are starting over in new apartments and new lives, right? Awesome. Uh, college students, the whole nine yards. These are for me though. I'm keeping these because our silverware has just walked away. I'd say at least a good third of my set is just gone. But anyway, I picked up a total of 12 of the teaspoons. Um, and that's a six pack. So I only had to buy two. I picked up two six packs of these tablespoons by Gibson Home. I also picked up two six packs, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> of the forks. Don't bonk yourself, Michelle. I don't know. I should, this should be a hard hat area, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> two six packs of the forks. And finally, the butter knives only came in a set of three. So I had to buy a total of four of these. And what did I total it up? I did total it up earlier. So what did I wind up spending? For service for 12, you guys, $12.50. That's not bad. That's not bad considering, like I said, somehow the silverware, and I know so many people can say the same thing, the silverware just up and walks away. Or like I said, you're sending your kid off to college or somebody just starting over and they need something solid and decent. This is a super set. You could get somebody's service for 12 for $12.50 or any combination of whatever your needs may be piecewise. And with that, you guys, that ends today's haul. Some really solid finds, right? The Dollar Tree keeps giving. And I do have another haul coming up, uh, you know, piggybacking off this. I will be recording in the same garb. I hope you don't mind. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I bid you peace.